Hola, ¿qué tal? Entonces nosotros, como ya lo viste, nosotros somos brasileños, pero entonces tenemos cuatro lenguas. Eh, portugués, español, inglés y un poco de inglés o alguna cosa así. Uh, acá, ¿quién conoce el Secure Desktop de Windows? ¿Una persona? Ok. Uh, ¿Qué okay, es el Secure Desktop de Windows? ¿Puede hablar? Sí. La, con las gafas. Sí. ¿Qué okay, es el Secure Desktop? Mm. No. La comunicación no es tan buena. Entonces, ¿lo que vamos a hacer acá? Escúchame. Pero no consigo. Lo ah, que vamos a hacer acá es hablar un poco sobre el Security Desktop. Ah, hablar un poco sobre las aplicaciones que trabajan con el Security Desktop. Eh, si, ¿Cómo es un workshop? Entonces, la, ¿cómo? Yo pensé, nosotros pensamos en la charla para el workshop. Pensamos que ustedes pueden trabajar también. Entonces, si quisieran hacer algo más genso, pueden, pueden pegar la, su laptop o cualquier cosa y vamos a intentar, intentar hacer una cosa más interactiva. Y si ustedes no comprenden nada que estoy hablando, Ah, yo intento, yo cambio para el inglés. ¿Está bueno? ¿O no? Ah, te gusta, ¿no? ¿Está bueno en español? ¿Todo lo bueno? ¡Ahí! Ok, entonces vamos a empezar ahí en español. Ok, entonces, ahora, la problema. Ok, entonces nosotros tenemos una, una agenda para la charla, un poco de qué son nosotros, a la introducción al Security Desktop, y después vamos a hablar de Windows API, a nuestra prueba de concepto, a la aplicación, somos algunas recomendaciones y la conclusión final. Ok, entonces mi nombre es Luis González Oliveira, yo soy consultor del equipo de Spider-Man. Uh, yo estudo, trabajo, ya abrí otras, ya abrí en algunos lugares del mundo como Adviset, Open Source, Black Hat, Source, etc. Y tenemos con ustedes Marta Almeida. Microsoft o alguna cosa parecida. Secret Desktop 
es uh, un método que utiliza el niño Santiago para dejar la, el desktop segregado de la aplicación principal. Entonces, ¿qué acontece? Utilizando, utilizando King's Pokers, uh, Scanners, Waters, que son comunes, por ejemplo, que trabajan normalmente en nivel de usuario, usted no, no, no va a conseguir hacer la lectura de los te, de, de lo teclados, hacer la lectura de discos. Entonces, ese es el motivo de, de la creación de seguridad. Las aplicaciones que, que necesitan o que utilizan de seguridad son aplicaciones que no quieren que un atacante consiga hacer la... consiga leer a lo que está escribiendo. Entonces tenemos, por ejemplo, bancos como acabamos de decir, tenemos en nuestro, en nuestro caso algunos uh, aplicativos que gerencian contraseñas. Entonces, en el final de, nuestro, de nuestra charla, nosotros conseguimos hacer una, un, una prueba de concepto que nosotros mismo se la aplicación está uh, usando en el segundo stop, nosotros mismo así conseguimos hacer la, la lectura de los Kings Books. Ok. So, entonces, algunas veces yo voy a mandar un sobre esa. Estoy hablando en, en una lengua diferente, pero no es inglés, no es un poco complicado para mí. Entonces, tenga calma, nosotros tenemos tiempo. Si tiene cualquier duda, levanta mano y yo voy a intentar explorar mejor. Entonces, como la he dicho, es una, una forma de proteger contra Kickstrokes y Stiffers. Entonces, wow, ustedes tienen una aplicación que no quiere que Miguel hace la lectura que he dibujado o una cosa parecida. Entonces, es que una manera que es utilizada para hacer esto. Es de crear un desktop totalmente diferente de la, de la desktop original que como he dicho, es segmentado, entonces no es... No es posible la, la lectura mismo que esté segmentado en el mismo sistema. Y como es, es una cosa muy importante, es solamente que se está con acceso administrativo como sistema como es una cosa de Windows y todo su sistema. Acá es just, uh, it's just es, es solo una, una mensaje de One Password. Uh, KeePass. Uh, KeePass que hablaba un poco sobre, se estructuraba un poco sobre KeePass y One Password. Uh, ellos hablan un poco sobre Security Desktop, de cómo hacer la activación. Próxima. ¿Cómo funciona? No. Entonces, eh, esta, nosotros tenemos la Windows API. Entonces, eh, lo que acontece es que el, el consultor, la persona, el programador, él le consigue separar utilizando esta de Object Desktop de Windows API y crear un nuevo desktop, solo esto. Entonces, cuando decimos que es Secure Desktop, no es totalmente seguro, porque como van a ver, es solamente un nuevo desktop que como la, la aplicación original no tiene acceso, usted no tiene acceso, eh, acaba creando un seguimiento que no es posible leer. De, de nuevo, eh, solamente se sabe con acceso eh, administrativo. So far, so good? Entonces, uh, ahora creo que es la, una de las partes más interesantes. Entonces, cuando empezamos a estudiar la Security Desktop, uh, yo pensé en varias maneras de cómo tentar el bypass, pero acá es uh, solamente una presentación de cómo uh, uh, el Security Desktop funciona. Se va. Intenta volver. Este es una 
obviamente un vídeo demostrando cómo los sectores de desktop funcionan, ¿ok? Yo no me recuerdo muy bien, no sé si yo me veo. Ok, yo uh, he sentado un pelo de mi tente y voy a hacer la ejecución de kilómetros diferentes. Nosotros sabemos que kilómetros diferentes de metros cuadrados es una porcaría, pero acá. Acá, entonces yo voy a ejecutar, a ejecutar ahora el key pass. El key pass uh, pide el master pass, el, la master contraseña, que es la contraseña que abre todas las otras contraseñas. Nosotros ahora vamos a ver, check, eh, ver si tenemos alguna contraseña o no. Eh, el papel que se pone su propia ahí, estás, estás todo funcionando normalmente. Yo entiendo el. el para ver. ¿Cómo ustedes consiguen ver en el vídeo? Uh, solamente la parte que eh, hace el request de la contraseña, de la master contraseña, está en el segundo desktop. Después, intenta, intenta buscar más lento. Ah. La, yo intenté, yo he eh, editado una cosa solamente para la resolución y la yo consigo capturar lo que está siendo editado, pero solamente en la parte de la master contraseña es en el security desktop. Solo, una, solo para demostrar cómo, cómo funciona el security desktop. Y lo mismo proceso de, de la aplicación, yo me quiero ver una cosa. No. Vamos a ver. ¿Están todos los seguros que están comprendiendo bien? Algunas veces yo pienso que estoy solamente hablando. ¿Está ok? Es too easy. No need to explain nothing. Es too easy. Es too easy. What the fuck, man? Ja. No. Yo no estaba explanando. Ok, entonces. Me voy a ver con eso. ¿Está por ahí? No, no es como eso. Deja como eso. Es como eso. Entonces tenemos este pensamiento ejecutado donde yo intento inyectar el, eh, el pelo en el proceso e intentar capturarlo. Uh, yo utilizo The Met Squad también. Entonces estamos mirando el PID. Ejecuto. You can sh you can please show that. We don't see that. The comment. No tiene esto. Can see that? Un persona no puede entender. No da para mejorar. Okay, déjame entender. Ah, 
Ok, entonces no tiene como. <risa> ok, lo estoy utilizando. Ok, haz un modo de MetaSquad que tú puedes inyectar el pedido directamente en el proceso. Es el modo lo que estoy utilizando. Entonces, lo que, lo que he hecho, solamente yo he inyectado la, el payload en el proceso. Eh, ¿Ok? Solamente comparado que estoy mismo en el mismo proceso de Kinpath. Pero mismo así la contraseña no es capturada. Entonces yo, nosotros pensamos mucho durante este proceso y cómo podríamos, podríamos hacer alguna cosa vale la pena Yo voy a entrar en la el sniffer de Kingstocks again, de nuevo. La contraseña es capturada. ¿O qué comprendemos de la situación? Grita. Nosotros comprendemos que todo lo que he ejecutado en el mismo desktop que 
el Secret Desktop crea entonces nosotros podemos manipular la aplicación una aplicación que está en este desktop seguro de la aprendemos alguna cosa por ejemplo entonces empezamos a pensar cómo esto es hecho por en el Windows entonces estudiamos un poco de Windows API y vamos a hacer la prueba con ustedes pero nosotros estamos pensando en qué podríamos hacer de diferente acá. Como nosotros tenemos mucho tiempo, y esta es una charla muy corta, uh, podemos hacer un contest. Uh, ustedes pueden instalar el QPS en su computador uh, e intentan con la información que yo di ahora, intentan hacer alguna cosa. Too much for now? Yo quiero que Entonces, nosotros no tenemos tiempo. Si quieres, podemos hacer el contest. No lo sé. Ah, vale, yo tengo que valer una cosa que se gana. Ah, una, una camiseta de Eco Fire. <risa> El que, yo no sé, no tengo una otra idea. Pero vamos, ah, si, si puede, ustedes pueden pegar el resto, instalar, si tienen Windows, que sea, instalar Kimpes y demostren cómo hacer la el bypass de master de la de la master contraseña no Into the secret desktop, 
and using this CMZ, we just launched another payload and we are able to, to launch the K-Scan the case and after that, we, we just realized that when a program running inside the, the desktop, we are able to capture everything that way by passing the protection created by secure desktop. So, we just talking a, a little bit to man, we just need to understand how the Windows API works for our desktop to realize what's happening here and just check what we can do to inject some payload in another desktop created into the machines and that way bypass everything uh, everything is created that protection that application. So we just started the, the Windows API study. And we just discover our desktop functions in the user 32 URL, where we have that, that functions used by applications that intend to use the secure desktop. So the first one, close desktop, just close the desktop that you, you direct, direct to. The create desktop creates a separate desktop to to this job that works like the the Windows UAC uh, when, for example, in Windows, when you just try to install a program, the program just creates another desktop with uh, the background of this desktop is a screenshot of the default desktop, but the difference is because they just just uh, set the background of this desktop a little bit gray, okay? And commonly just appears a, a, a little box that you, you can interact with with to, to plug you inside. You pass the administrator and when you, you click OK, the, the Windows just get this entrance and validates if you are an uh, administrator. And if you use OK with this, the Windows will install the problem. The, the main concept of the desktop the, the, the desktop functions in the same way to emulate this, uh, this environment to you. So, to use the create desktop, you're able to create another desktop inside the Windows, like the Linux, when you have um, one or how much desktops you want. And all desktops uh, will return a uh, array uh, with <laughs> the name of all desktops running inside the inside you, you will lose at this time, get the desktop, you get the desktop user that moment. For example, if you uh, in Windows you can use one, one desktop by um, one desktop by, by time. So if you in the, the full desktop, the other ones is hidden. But when you use for example the, the function switch desktop, you are able to switch between those desktops. So when you when, for example, hold the, the key pass or, or password or on the program that we test in the first way it works. When you launch the program, the program will just launch the, the function create desktop that will create a separate environment from the default desktop that will by the full uh, avoid that programs running in the default desktop interact with the, the new created desktop. For example, like we show show it in new demos. Uh, if a keystroke is running the default desktop, it, it isn't able to capture anything that you type in the just created desktop. So, just just want the create desktop, after that, they, they run the switch desktop, okay, sh switching the desktop in, in, the, in the thread. After the users just type in what's asking for the application, when you click OK, the, the clicks button will will launch the switch desktop again and close the desktop and return. <coughs> so we have another function that we can use, for example, the open desktop that we use in a proof of concept that we show to, to you guys in some minutes. The uh, set the desktop to, to set the, the desktop that you use it in this time. Okay. So to, to continue, we, we, we need to understand because it is working. We have here a uh, image to identify to you. In Windows, we have three objects, okay? We have a session object that will control everything you, you do in your session. Inside the session object, we have a Windows station that 
the session can have one or more Windows extensions. For example, when you use the 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 remote desktop, the the remote desktop program to control any machines by the RTP protocol, the, the the Windows just create another Windows station and connect you to that. Okay. Uh, besides the Windows station, we can have one or more desktops. Uh, the main concept that we need to understand here is the, is the, the following. Any application can communicate with any application inside the same desktop. Okay? We can share the user input, we can share everything. But if you... Press this slide, please. But if you try to communicate to the user input inside the other desktop, in this case the secure desktop, you are unable to do that. The only program that is able to communicate with the, the program inside the secure desktop or the desktop that you create is the program that just launched this desktop. This desktop. So what, what is your idea? Utilizing the, the main feature that we presented in the, the first the first slide, this one, we just we, we just figured what's happening if we able to launch any program inside the desktop. So utilizing the Windows API or idea to bypass the protection is just this. Simple like this. Just utilize the Windows API to get privileges to open that, that desktop and after that just launch a program inside that. And Utilizing this program that we just launched inside the, the other desktop, communicate with user input to capture everything. So, a proof of concept is like this. So, the attack details. We just utilize the open desktop function to open the permissions to that desktop. After that, we utilize the, the set desktop function to get credit and able to, to launch programs inside this inside that desktop. Uh, after that, we choose the function break process inside the character to be aware with zip, which allow us to launch any program and any process inside it, the desktop that we choose. So we just start a payload process inside that desktop inside that desktop. And after that we will have we will be able to bypass the secret desktop protections. Okay. It's ready. Sorry? It's done. It's done? It's done? Yeah. Oh. I want to see. Uh, I don't believe you. It seems like you are a liar. <laughs> so, the proof of concept code that we just created is that we. Sorry for the code, it's very lame. <laughs> we just utilize a while tool. I, we know that it can become a, a very more beautiful code, but since we are being tested as coders, <laughs> we just create a white tool uh, that we just launch the get desktops and check. We, if we know the, any desktops inside the, this list, we just launch the OK logger inside that, inside that desktop. After that, we, we add the name of that, that desktop in the has founded list that we just created. So that way we can avoid, for example, to launch a lot of process of keyloggers inside the same desktop, okay? So since the white list is running, if any, any new desktop is created, since the name of this new desktop goes to the, to the get desktop function to, to return, we will be able to check that desktop isn't, uh, isn't hacked uh, yet, so we will just launch the secure desktop. No, we just launch the keylogger inside the, the this new created desktop, and we will bypass this protection. So, working or profit concept is like this. I will show it to you. Running now. So, log in the machine. Uh, we try to hack the key pass. Okay? Um, the first test we will do 
just launch a CMD inside every desktop straight in the machine. So you launch this program, desktop injection CMD, and as you can see, they just created a CMD in all the desktops inside the machine. Since we have only about one desktop open in, uh, at this moment, so we just copied uh, one CMD. We can verify this, check in the task list. And the task list will show us only one CMD running, okay? So I will just open the key pass here that we will open a secure desktop. After launch, just a second. As you can see, they just screenshot the, the, the default desktop and put as background of this desktop, as you can see here. But one thing is different. We have two programs running here. No. Uh, out. Yeah. What's the, the, the fucking thing? Outstab isn't, isn't working. I will show you, you here. We have two CMZ. I don't know it to, to, to use the alt tab here. I don't know why. I'll switch the programs. The alt tab isn't working because of Using a VMware. So that way we can we can we have uh, we able to confirm that we program is launched inside the, the secure desktop. So now I will run the, the desktop injector that we just launch. Uh, a K-Logger process inside the, the secure desktop. This one K-Logger. We have here a lot of keyboards and locks. Erase this. Okay. Let's just check if the desktop injector is running. Here. He, we have one and two because we have a keylogger running in the, the full desktop and a keylogger running inside the desktop created by KeePass. It's a programming error because they just they don't close the, the desktop, but just the, the application created to, to communicate. ML. Um, First of all, I will show to you the rest of Just uh, a point. Uh, when we were talking about. Okay, I'm speaking English. Cuando estamos hablando sobre la aplicación, no estamos hablando sobre el sistema operativo. Entonces, cuando he instalado algún, algún sniffer, pero en kernel, entonces tenen, ustedes tienen todo. Entonces acá es solamente una, eh, 
trabajar con el nivel de usuario, no estamos hablando del nivel de Kelly, pues ahora tenemos que afinar, simplificar, etc. Entonces acá, entonces se habla, se yo he estado un, un, un pelo, un malware en, en Kernel, yo tengo todo, sí, usted tiene, porque está haciendo directamente en la interrupción del teclado. Entonces no estamos hablando de sistema operativo, estamos hablando de, de la aplicación. Yo sé que es un concepto diferente, pero cuando trabajamos con seguridad, nosotros sabemos que tenemos que ver todo el lado, pero acá es solo un tipo uh, lo que podemos hacer, lo que no podemos hacer. Entonces, solo para explicar mismo, porque muchas personas pueden estar pensando, hey, yo puedo hacer eso solamente instalando lo que es llamado de wider kilo sniffer, uh, pero no es el caso. Estamos hablando solamente de la aplicación en el nuevo sistema operativo. Perfecto. Ahora voy a demostrar a ustedes, por ejemplo. Uh, Entonces estás hablando en español ahora. So, I'm going to show you guys uh, running the uh, a keylogger inside the different desktop, okay? And we we'll launch the, the key pass and show to you guys that we are even able to capture anything typed inside the key pass that will prove the protection created by Secure Desktop. We we'll just launch here a keylogger, okay? Keylogger running 0.ez. We we'll launch the key pass. Come on, key pass. Okay. I will type here. Echo party is fucking insane. The, the best one? Yeah. <laughs> okay, we type it here. The right person is wrong. Is that the, the right best one? Okay, I just want to show you. Okay, just let me show you. My okay. hands open. What is that? Is? The uh, key pass. The key pass is here. So type the right pass right here. I just want to show you. You need to type the right person. Yeah, you know the right person or not? <laughs> it's not an excuse. <laughs> Seriously? Seriously, my friend. <laughs> just okay. break, break, break another another mistake key and, and show to him. You can create a new one. Can see how? Ah, okay. Oh, okay. This is the important thing. Two. Options, security. No, no, this is what I want. Okay. Yeah, I see now. Here, enter master key and secure desktop. Yeah, it's not enabled by default. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I see, no. I see now. Yeah. Okay. So yes. you're you're tricking me because <laughs> I I was just trying a lot. Okay. <laughs> that it's happens. Not. Okay, go on. Okay. It isn't set by default, and one password. It isn't set by default too. But since it's a uh, very interesting functionality that can protect the <coughs> user password from capturing from keystrokers, so I guess the one password will set this, this function like um, like as the phone in some in previously uh, oh previously no, some uh, new new versions from from this software. So just I type in the, the, the password. Let me show to you guys. That the password isn't taken. Uh, here, our child, the logs, October 29, and we don't have anything taken. Perfect. Now, I will just launch my, my keylogger. Keylogger launch. Now, just start silently uh, a case stroker in every desktop created in the, the machine. We can confirm this in the task, task manager that we can see one and two. This one and two, the one probably is the different desktop and two in the, the desktop created by KeePass. Perfect. So I launch now the KeePass. They will create a new desktop and check again the, the task manager. Password, type when the 
So I tap into here this password and this keylogger is a little bit lame because they just say the, uh, the buffer uh, each minute. So let's wait a little bit more to give the opportunity to keylogger to everything. Okay. So here we can confirm that we have two more process launching. Three in the, the keyboard, the keypad desktop just created, and the four because I I typed the wrong password, and since they closed the, the old desktop, you open one, he will launch another keyboard. Okay, so just check here the loggers, and we can see everything. Okay, password typed when the keyboard is launching. So we were able to capture everything typed inside the secure desktop. This mistake. And bypass the, the secure desktop protection. The guy's trying. Keep trying. So handle. Five minutes. The code that we write is here. I'll show it to you guys. We know, I haven't discussed with this before in other talks because I don't have so much time. But now I'll discuss you another test that I just tried to, to bypass that protection, for example. I think, man, it's a fucking thing. Why the Microsoft just able a user to, to control the other desktops and launch other programs inside him? It's a fucking lame, fucking. Uh, uh, functionality because it's very easy to bypass. So I researched this and checked that, that the secure desktop creates some capabilities, okay? That you can set to the new desktop that we will create. But testing every capability inside. Are you showing the capabilities here right now? Just a second. Open the version. Okay, so here we need to declare everything, all functions that we will use. And what I want to show you is that. That, that, that values is the capabilities that you can set inside your secure desktop. I tried everything that you can imagine. For example, just giving the create window and enumerate to desktop, uh, write to objects, switch desktop. All, the, all those capabilities is set by the tool, okay? So I, I tried to remove some ones, but I realized that to every desktop, you need to set one capability, the create window. If it isn't set the create window capability, you isn't able to open a new desktop, okay? So I realized too, uh, when you set this capability, you're able to do or, or attack. Okay, so after that, we communicate to since we isn't able to disclose disclosure the application that we discovered everything that we should do that we, that is much more. The application that we tested is developing to do it, okay? So we were able to bypass all these, these functions, but since we, we are unable to, to disclose uh, discovery in that application because of uh, NDA, we just search in the internet by applications that use this functionality. For example, the key pass and the one password. Uh, after we, we disclosure this to one password and keep pass, the key pass just say, nah, we never yeah, say yeah. we never say we able to, to protect the the security desktop to capture our sniffing. So we just give, give it give it out and isn't uh, acting this, this 
with this issue. But the web tester uh, on the other side are very communicative and developed a protection for our attack that we just show to you okay. running right now. Uh, our attack is running yet. We'll show to you guys. Uh, we will open the one password here. And we want to secure this stuff. When you try to lock, they will detect attack. Yeah. One person has detected no process and give the name of process, and you will have the possibility to deny or allow this process. Okay? So the protection that they created is very uh, quite simple. They just uh, listen all process running inside this desktop, and if they detect a process running that is different from the the the, the key pass. Oh, sorry, the one password process. They will just kill the security desktop and we will advise the user Hey man, you just detected a problem, what you want to do? You just follow it or just to deny it? Okay, so if you choose to deny, they will just close and nothing's happening uh, This is the protection uh, One thing that me and Bruno, uh, I don't know, thinking to try bypass this protection is like a, a bypass in the, the protection bypass is just wait some seconds before to launch or program like the like the, the approach adopted by the 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 sand, uh, sandbox sandbox applications for example when you try uh, a new worm in the sandbox they sniff everything so some worms just detect that it's running a new or something like that and don't launch uh, the, the, the infection process or just wait some seconds before to start the infection process so it's one approach that we need to, 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 to test we, we isn't tested yet just put as uh, someone sleeping in the, in the process before to start the, the, the program but the key pass can fix it or, or attack so a mitigation that we recommend is one thing called session isolation. Instead, you just try a desktop isolation, you can try a session isolation. Uh, for, uh, if I, if I isn't wrong, in Windows 2008, a uh, new approach is created that you can create a session shell. It's an object that's a shell of your main session, main session object. So you can just create a new shell. And inside this, this session child, start your middle station, desktop, and everything. Oh, yeah. And that way, you isn't able to communicate to user inputs. I can affirm that because in all our tests, or tries, uh, trying error inside this application that we tested before, we tried to assess the application which is in the uh, remote desktop. Okay, uh, to the uh, protocol and the application is open and just we just is re redirected to the login page so because of this we, we have a lot of um, strong strong evidence that this protection will works well uh, the solution adopted by one password in the CV is is that that just show to you? Is just launch a pro uh, check if all process running inside this desktop uh, belongs to secure belongs to one password. If if the application detects any process that isn't created by security by the secure desktop. la aplicación en el sistema pero cuando la aplicación intente de hacer algo como eso es, como he dicho el Microsoft no he dicho que es Secure Desktop entonces uh, tenemos que pensar un poco fuera de la caja eh, esto que es 
Apresentamos, fue la solución para nuestro proyecto. Eh, generó algunas CVEs, porque algunas instituciones como la aplicación de KeyPass o de Password utilizan de la misma. Uh, si tienen cualquier duda o cualquier cosa que quieran hablar, ahora es ahora. Víctor, uh, ¿tiene una duda sobre lo que fue presentado o una idea nueva? Podemos estar ahora. Tengo mucho tiempo ahí. <risa> Entonces, como he dicho, si, si tiene alguna, algún, oh, creo, algún pensamiento o alguna cosa que quiere hablar, estamos a disposición. Y mucho obrigado. Muchas gracias. Eh, gracias. Escucha mi español, eh, pero yo intenté el máximo. Es la primera vez en español. Entonces. Sorry for my English too. Gracias. Muchas gracias.